Masa Rasa. That's right. We're doing another video. We're going to be talking about restoration of soil. Now I know we talked about chicken. Chicken poop helps break down all the wood chips to make your compost. Keeping the chicken coop clean keeps the chickens healthy. Now when they're out here, they're getting their greens. We got some comfrey. We got some mustard greens. We've got some collard greens. And as you can see, they're tearing up the lettuce and the comfrey. Them chickens love getting sunlight, the vitamin D in there with that compost, the microorganisms, the protein. There's worms, there's other bugs and grubs in there. So they get all of their nutrient goods right there. And with that being said, their grain goes down. And this is their grain, I ferment it. There's some leftover white Belgian ale there that the chickens love. That's like their coffee. The fish are loving their environment. So we take that algae out of there. We also throw that in there. It has that fish poop. Poop helps to break down all the the compost, it helps with those microorganisms. Oh, there you guys are. Just doing a little yard work around here. But every tool has its place. So we're talking about regenerating the soil. I surely do love that lasagna effect. We got us some, some cardboard. We got us some wood chip. We got us some of that beautiful compost. So if you remember, I had ditches in there and then I filled them now with the wood chips. The wood chips are gonna break down. It's gonna hold the moisture. It's gonna capture that moisture. The mounds are holding the roots. So the roots have to dig to grab that moisture. And it all runs out this way to our corn that's starting to look really good. Couldn't walk by this guy. We're getting some blooms on them chilies. Let me step back, show you the size of that. You know, we've been fighting mother nature. It's hard to grow in Denver, Colorado as it is. We have that short growing season. Well, when they say mother nature's mad, you rain for a month and a half, two months. And it stunts your growth. You're not getting that sunlight. You're not. You're you're getting too much water. The roots are retaining. Some things are getting waterlogged. Some things are getting root rot. I mean, it, it's a hard time growing with the act of God and Mother Nature. Just giving you a little update. So we're always adding that compost. We're always adding soil. We're feeding the ground. We just don't feed our vegetables that we're feeding ourselves, that we're feeding the chickens. This singularity process. I'm sorry, I was trying to walk through there. This singularity process, it feeds me, it feeds the chickens, it feeds the ground. And that's the way, that's the only way that these healthy benefits are going to come about. And if you're wondering what that is, I don't know if you could see that. That is grapes. Our grapes are coming along. So as I say, we keep on adding soil. We're feeding that microorganisms. We're feeding that ground. And it all comes from making compost, long-term compost, Ben. 
the chickens over there got a high nitrate breaking down making the the compost hot over there this one just takes a long time because I don't have all the ingredients I go to a chip drop off and I get wood chips dropped off three four times a year because I keep on using these wood chips they break down you add, you add a simple chemistry balance to it and it'll break down faster it'll heat up those nutrients you can add back into your ground there you go that singular process you're feeding the ground you're feeding yourself you're feeding soil these are snapdragons that companion planting that I'm always liking to do those are tomatoes so what I was talking about you know anybody can do this this is free food I'm eating this lettuce and I cut it see I just cut the top here like this and this grew in a couple days and like I say with the rain these are rain loving plants I'm eating this the chickens are eating this so when the chickens eat like this I'm eating what they're eating and that's where the singulary process works again this is that comfrey so if you looked over there I was feeding the chickens four different types of greens there's lettuce there's mustard there's collards and there's comfrey and these chickens just love it they love just running around come on girls you know better than that I got that tent at Walmart 300 bucks came with a tent stove but these days they got these little uh, things to make coffee to heat up the tents you just add the little propane tank you're solid and with that little tent you don't need much well me and the girls are going to tell you goodbye for now i hope you guys all enjoy the videos bless everybody i wish you were here with me keep on growing Marianne. Susie!